Word. Welcome to the V Side Word. We're back for another week to give you some more interesting articles. I'm Emma and I'm here sat with Devon and CJ. And on the other side of the world, we've got Maxi. Maxi. And, <laughs> <laughs> and the other one known as. And another one. <laughs> Alex. <laughs> Alex Flex Zanz Zanzi AJ. <laughs> AK, 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 AK. <laughs> so, this week, guys, our first article, and I love this one. Emma loves this one. I really love this she one. She really does. Really? Yeah. How much does she love it? Lots. This much? Loads. Yes. Okay. Right. That's a lot. <laughs> Who's been to London? Me. Me. What's one of the first Me. things you see? Where is it? The airport. The red buses. <laughs> oh, man. I saw Anything the airport else? first. I landed. <laughs> okay, <laughs> once you've landed, you've hopped on the... Telephone you, you, booths. No, yep, yeah, no, no. Right, well... The Buckingham go- Palace. Let go- me just tell you. The guy drop a glove. <laughs> <laughs> the black cabbie. Big Ben. The O2 okay. Ferris. Ferris wheel. The, well, the black cabbies? Yeah, the black cabbies. That's a bit, that's a bit racist. The Don't they hire white people as well? <laughs> the cab, the black cabs, the London taxis, right? These taxi drivers, mm. they're, they're, they're not your normal taxi drivers. Why? And you guys probably already know this, but these taxi drivers. Can we ask, can we ask Maxie and Alexander if they go. know? What's so special about them? Go, yeah. What, to become a cabbie? Yeah, what's so special? You have to pass the good test. Oh. They're very intensive. Tests. So they this do know. You know, they you know they've been shown right. to have bigger part of their brain or something because of how much they use it. Wow. Uh, okay, you know is this test? Your test driver's license? They're going to be riding around on a scooter <laughs> with a map in front of them. Yeah, known as the blue book. Now this test is called the knowledge. That's it's actually it. got a name. I feel, like a, I feel like it's a club. The knowledge. It's like you're like only a certain you know certain amount of people can get into this club. How many cabbies the are there in... Um, don't know. Three. But <laughs> to become an all-London taxi driver or a green badge holder, you need to literally master 25,000 streets that are scattered around London. Wow. There's 320 basic routes. Wow. Right? There's about 20,000 landmarks and places of public interest. You are not allowed... Satnav. Satnav what? No, 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 no. <laughs> Satnav what? <laughs> what? No Satnav. It literally takes between two to four years to learn. It's like doing a wow. degree. So you mean to tell me there are people studying for this for two to four years? Yeah. yeah. When they can just get a Satnav and it'll be easier? They're not allowed. And they make a mint. London cab drivers make a mint. How much is a mint? Well, a lot of money. They nearly, they nearly got dropped. To their knees by Uber. That's yeah. what I was, I was about to say. Is that because Uber, Uber uses Satnav? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Uber's, Uber's got this. I mean, it's a crazy technology. And you, you, you alluded to it there. It's called satellite Shows navigation. You, <laughs> yeah. but you know what? With Satnav, and, and, and only enough with satellite, with satellite nav- navigation. I heard. What was that? What, satellite <laughs> navigation. <laughs> <laughs> I heard. You can pinpoint where there's no traffic and go around. You can, but also sometimes yeah. it sends you off the side of a cliff. Well, or at least uh, down, uh, at least down uh, a dead end. And all honestly, if you're driving off the side of a cliff because of sat nav, you deserve to be driving off the side of a cliff. Because <laughs> you should have been looking outside the big glass thing <laughs> near the steering wheel, which is directly in front of you, and going, "Oh, cliff, stop!" <laughs> so <laughs> not drive these, further. The thing, these cabbies. Like, see, that's a way to um, get rid of the week. Yeah. <laughs> Historically. I could see the incentive to want to be a cabbie over being like an Uber driver, for example, because mm. the, probably the fares you're going to get, you first of all, you're going to get more people actually flagging you down because you don't get that anymore. Yeah. Um, you're not you're not allowed to flag any other taxi in London down apart from a black cab. There you go. Oh. Um, and in doing also the fact that you're in a black cab and, and the, the tourist interest of being in a black cab yeah. and everything. But is that really a thing this day now? Like, do people? I think so. 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 Is there anything illegal in me buying a black cab, cab, but then just being an Uber driver? (laughs) I think there probably is. Like, seriously, I think there is. Uh, 
Oh my god! Is that copyright or uh, copyright infringement? I, I remember something you, about like getting can't tell you what kind of boy. Maxi, you I belong think it's a in I think Italy it might be with the tax frauds. <laughs> It's like, isn't what? there a way around this? It's, it's, it's tax fraud. It's not taxi fraud. It's, it's tax fraud. Oh, nice. Which is like nice. the, the money you pay. Uh, <laughs> like good the good 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 as long as he pays his tax, after he picks the people up, he's fine. <laughs> this is the thing about London cab drivers. They know, you, you literally just have to tell them the street, wherever. They'll get you there in the shortest possible time. They know, like... The, uh, like the back of their hand, okay. like the untied shoelaces. Like, wait, 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 wait. Can, uh, can I just say, like, I think that is... Unbelievable! It's extraordinary. This is mm. this is a lot of uh, brain power that doesn't need to be used. Yeah, because mm. I yeah. can do that. Really? I could actually fly to London, rent a car, type in where I'm going, <laughs> and my phone will take me. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're right. Yeah, um, it's, a, it's a bit outdated, isn't it? I think it's just like it's a like prestige a thing. It's just like a. <laughs> it's just like you're the the top top notch if, if you if you one of these but you're right you the way to tell them is usually the way that they figure out their routes is on a moped they got this blue book um and they just start doing what they tell them just learn one route at a time just go over it, over it, over it, over it, over it and then once you've got that move on to the next route and just basically do it that way maxi you said um uber nearly uh, brought them to their knees uh uh the black cabs on top again or is Uber uh, still... Uber, Uber's not allowed to operate um, certain services on their platform anymore in London. Yeah, that oh, room, wow. there was a big and, thing about Uber in London. Um, so now they can only do like... Uh, the, you have Uber... What's it called? Uber Deluxe or something? Uber X. So it costs a lot more. Uber X. Um, because Uber's... It's the same in Norway. Um, in a lot of Europe where they don't treat their drivers like employees. They treat them like... Uh, subcontractors which yeah. means they don't give them any rights like no holiday and sick pay and that sort of stuff yeah and then because they employ so many of them working full time the the like the sort of legal system in the uk and many other places is deemed that as like as good as being an employee so then in order to do that you have to like give them the benefits they deserve by like whatever human right laws govern that oh. place these are what i can get if I want, I don't know if they're all the normal options, but what's that? Are you sure enough? That's Uber. They're like, if I wanted to get an Uber right now, they're the options I can get. Can you read them? Oh. I don't know. If... Eight to eleven pounds. Uber, Uber X. X pool and exec. Oh, see, that's all of them. Well, no, because you got they just have Uber to like. You. Oh, they I guess they've just got rid of the one option. All the, <laughs> all the have you ever used Uber and pool? No. Uber, Uber pool. So you hot, like Does multiple like people in a truck and you would swim use it? the same vehicle. Oh, <laughs> right. So you go and sort the same way. Yeah. 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 So like the first person that says Uber Paul, he might be the first person to be picked up and then his route's set. And if another person who also wants Uber Paul is on a roughly similar route, then they'll stop and pick them up as well. This... Now, um, but the good thing is I've used it a lot and most of the time you don't, no one jumps in with you. Oh. But you still get a cheaper fare. Oh, really? Oh. Um, which is cool. That's cool. uh, I had had people jump in with me, but then it significantly extends your journey time. Yeah. Oh, okay. See, they, so it's like they, a, if you got time and you want to save a bit of dosh, then you want to have a bit of a, you know, Party. look out the window. No, but in Sydney they've started bringing in the black cabs, haven't they? Don't know why. Have they? Have they? They've got black cabs. Shit, in <laughs> yeah, they look exactly like the London black cabs. Um, there's not that many. I've seen a few though. I think Probably it's because they're going out of business here. Mm. Well, something. I, no, I don't guy, think it's like a. I, th I think I told you about this before when we were talking about something different, but it's related to the cabs. The a guy who I trained, personal trained, who worked for um, the transport, and they were working on a project to have all the black cabs um, like self driving by some point in the next decade. <gasps> no. So this knowledge test will be useless by them anyway to start with, mm. <laughs> but. Mm. No, that, that yeah. whole knowledge thing, like, it regard, I, I can understand and appreciate if you do actually have that knowledge, yeah. how it can be quicker to know where you're going than using a sat nav. But yeah. the biggest drawback and what I can't wrap my head around is, in terms of how it's better and why they haven't outlawed it completely is traffic. Like, no matter how much you understand the streets of London, you don't know what the traffic's going to be at any one point anywhere in the city. But I think there's just there's probably patterns to the traffic. But Google the Google sat nav traffic doesn't do it on live traffic. It does it on 
traffic that's oh no google's changed now actually it's changed recently but most sat navs didn't didn't do traffic on um like one circumstances my whole point's gone because they do it now but it used to be that they also just predicted times of days and where it's going to be yeah the same way a black cab driver does but now it's like um yeah google can say so they use, if there's been a crash isn't, doesn't isn't google's all data driven in terms of if you're literally on the google maps and you're slowing down at a certain area that maps to and then yeah yeah, yeah, if enough now. people are slowing down at the same time in a certain area, they know that's traffic. I feel like I feel yeah. like the uh, the black cabbies, um, the half of the experience is having a driver to talk to. Yeah, because they're just, probably just, just talking awesome. about the local knowledge yeah. of of. Yeah, going driving. This is Big Ben. Yeah. <laughs> well, not like you know what I mean. He goes. You can. It just gives that. And I'm like, London. hi Ben, and he's a big bloke. <laughs> <laughs> London, yeah, the London experience, right? So if you don't, know what, to, if you don't know what to do as well, like if yeah, they'd give you if you look at a map, advice. you get paralysis by analysis. So many options, but if they go, yeah. oh, thought, what about if you go here or something? They could, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a whole. No, I think, I think, I think they're gonna. Uh, I don't think we're gonna get as many like new black cab drivers. I think if you go ten years from now, or maybe a bit more, it will just be like a lot of old, yeah, yeah, black cabbies. And then the new people probably won't like. It would be like a more of a, like you said, like a novelty that like you can have yeah. someone that knows their stuff. Because like Uber's like, the guy on Uber is is pre-programmed in his sat nav to go there before you even yeah get in the car, right? Yeah. yeah. Like it's so efficient, really, when you think about it. Yeah. 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 I don't yeah. think I've ever used an Uber. <laughs> oh, once I've used an Uber once. Yeah. The best thing about cabbies is they can stop pretty much anywhere though, unlike Ubers. Ubers get in trouble if they stop in like bad places. So not here. In certain parts of London, especially when you're a tourist, like you don't know where to stand. The Uber driver like, no, you got to walk over here. Oh, like, oh. okay. Uber drivers just stop anywhere in city. Yeah, they just bang. Well, they act like taxis. Yeah. You know what's funny? All right, you they know, shouldn't. But the Uber, Uber. I've only caught two Uber cars. Right, caught. I've only gone in two Ubers, and there was um. I think it was at prime time and it was at times eight. The fair was times eight, yeah. right? And we walked up the hill and then it became times four. We kept walking up the hill until it was like times 1.1. 1. 1. No. It was like, all right, this, we're going to take this one. <laughs> take this one. <laughs> That's so bizarre. It was funny because it was literally 500 meters away and it went from times eight to like times 1.2 or something. Now, I have a well, question. That's, um, perfect for them. <laughs> You UK folks might remember, Zans, when we were growing up, there was a TV show and it was like a reality one where you could win money, but you had to memorize like crazy stuff. Like they would make you memorize all the sub subway stations yeah, or something like that. And they, so they would yeah, and they gave there. you like a week to memorize it. Do yeah. you remember that? Yeah. They had to do all these challenges, but then there was one of them where they had to do a massive memory challenge. And they had to get it every single one correct. You know, that's funny. Because when I used to catch a train into like Sydney to go to TAFE, right? I would look at those freaking maps <laughs> and I'd know. I'd like, I like, it got embedded into my brain. Because yeah. you're just looking at it all the time. And then like if someone asks you, oh, what station's next? And you go, oh, what colour's your line? <laughs> 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 is it yellow, red, green? Which one? Well, we should have put you on that show to win us money. So I have a quick tweet for you. This one was a hashtag that was trending for a little while. And it was hashtag, hey, 19 year old me. And then you give yourself some advice. So I just thought, Ooh. why not give ourselves, our 19-year-old selves, some advice? Okay. Go, Dev. Mine would be, do as many things physically that you can now. And don't wait until you're later. Because when you get older, shit breaks down pretty quick. So enjoy your flexibility, your strength, <laughs> your ability to stay up as long as you want. Yeah. Um, <laughs> enjoy your youth. <laughs> Because uh, when you get to a certain age, your your mind is still a nineteen year old, but your body is not. He's 19. talking like he's sixty. Yeah, context, no, I'm I'll not. Uh, Thirty five, but like I'm just saying, like, <laughs> oh. but stuff like just stuff like stretching. Stretching is very important. Actually, oh, stretch stretching. when you're nineteen, because yes. stretching when you're thirty five is very very. 
very, dude. I can very. I used to be able to take important. my toes and stuff. I can't even get down anywhere near it. That's anymore. what I'm saying. That's what I would say to my 19 year old. In, enjoy it, but also like take care of your body. I, I like. I yeah. want a picture of you three all trying to touch your toes. <laughs> I think I've got more flexible in my age. Nice stuff. I never used to be able to touch my toes, but I can now. <laughs> oh, you're wearing thongs. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, does our legs have to be straight, Maxie? Because <laughs> <laughs> if it has to be straight, we're not uh, going to touch it. Maybe um, either keep your legs straight and touch them or touch your toes and try and get your legs as straight as possible. Nah, that's it. I'll hurt myself. I'll tear a hamstring. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about you, Ems? What would you tell your 19-year-old self? Um, So I used to be stick thin and people used to go, ah, oh, do you work out? I'm like, no, I just eat whatever I want. <laughs> And then I remember this one person said to me, like, this Bitch. one person was, <laughs> okay, I didn't say it like that. But she said to me, oh, you do realize that when you're older, you like, that won't last. And I was like, whatever. And like, it is so true. Literally, with age comes fat. And <laughs> so, and with you fat just comes like, wisdom. Is that the chain? Is that how it works? <laughs> <laughs> and so the, the yeah. more wisdom you gain the more weight you gain with it yeah so it's like your storage yeah <laughs> so out of all of us it's, the wisdom wisdom storage. Storage. It's, it's your hard drive mm -hmm. <laughs> so what would you tell your younger self you just you just warning them by the way you're going to get fat i just say just okay eating. so i'd say number one don't stop exercising because you know you know how they say like if you go to the gym and you're really fit and you miss a week, it's equivalent of actually like three weeks or something. If you miss a day or a week, it's Is equivalent it? of three weeks. Yeah, to, to like oh, you're three I, I weeks behind weeks. where you were. And that's when you're already fit. So, that's, so that's if you miss one week, <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Well, imagine missing like a year. Well, that's because you give birth, whatever. But you miss a year and that's equivalent to like, it takes like three years to get back into it. Like, and then it just compounds. Alex. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just going to throw out there for the people listening. There is, there is zero linear cor correlation to time and impact. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's what they say, okay? So who, like who, are who are they? they? Who are they? Who are they, Emma? Who are they? Who are they? these? They? Uh, are people. <laughs> is it the same day every time? They dot com. <laughs> is it like a group this of mums you're talk. talking about? It, though? <laughs> Do you know what? Emma's the friends are the council of, of the higher order. She knows. Yeah. She knows all the <laughs> crucial information. God, she's like an encyclopedia. Yeah. yeah. Of incorrect information. Okay. Oh, also, CJ, what would you, what also, would you advise your 19-year-old self? Okay. Yeah, maybe not drink so much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like solid it. advice. I like it. And yeah. quit smoking. <laughs> At 19. Or That's never start. Advice. Never start. That's good advice. Hmm. Hmm. And maybe <laughs> invest in that hair product that keeps your hair down. <laughs> 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 and also, maybe don't eat so many hamburgers. <laughs> oh, I've got cramp. <laughs> <laughs> one more, one more. <laughs> Save your money uh, and yeah. not spend it all on alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. And skanky women. <laughs> <laughs> Siege, this is not oh this gosh. is not regret. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I will get the skanky women. <laughs> See, Siege is in the confessional right now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, yeah. All right. Okay. No Mary, more. Ma ma Your mum listens to this. No ma more. Maybe keep this G-rated. Yeah. <laughs> Maxi. Uh, mine would be uh, like l learn now and earn later. Oh. In the sense of, mm. I would try to volunteer for good companies instead of earning for bad companies. Mm. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, yep. no, but see, he's still young. How old are you, Maxi? 26. So he's still young. <laughs> In 10 years, he'll be at what we said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you got to put it in context, right? I wonder where you were. Yeah, I'm, I'm part in 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Lost See, that skinny hair, bastard yeah. doesn't realise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still eating what I want. <laughs> that sooner or later, like, ooh, I can eat what I want. <laughs> it's four in the morning. I can get a kebab. <laughs> Maxi, just to give but you some but visuals, but right? <laughs> this is CJ. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh wait, I can't. Oh, you're you're a massive delight. Oh, I have no idea what you're doing. Wait, I'm waiting for it. I'm I'm looking forward to finding out what CJ <laughs> is doing. You're laughing at him now, so it's coming soon. 
<laughs> oh, here he is Maxi, just for visuals. Is that what you just said? <laughs> Frozen on mine. No, I missed it. Oh, okay. I saw this. <laughs> <laughs> this. <laughs> um, oh my goodness gracious me! Yeah, Alexander. I think my advice to my nineteen-year-old self. I love all the ones you lot gave, by the way. I think they're brilliant. I think mine yeah. would be to get mentors. Ah. Oh. Um, From the wise that be. Yeah, just people who could, like, the older I get, the more I realise that I haven't got a clue what is going on. And right. people who are older just have a slightly better clue. So if yeah. while I'm young, I could get some good mentors in place, then I would just have made better decisions, like people I could have consulted with. Hold on. Do you mean like from like a whole life perspective or from like more of a businessy type thing? No, more of a whole life perspective. Like I think you'd want mentors in okay. different areas, like for different things. Mm. But I would just so you want to who's older than you mentors. in 19. Could you imagine me being your mentor? Oh. <laughs> Carefully acquire mentors. Is there an age requirement? Let I, feel, I, feel, I always feel like you are my mentor, CJ. <laughs> Every Saturday morning we have this talk. CJ, I, I, good. I'll tell you something, right? Yeah? I've learned... <laughs> more from people that I don't want to be like. I'm not saying I don't want to be like you. Thanks, man. But what I'm saying <laughs> I, is, I love you too, bro. <laughs> I've learned asshole. A <laughs> no, no, that's not what I said. That's not what I meant. But I've learned a lot from people that I don't want to be like than I do want to be like. Because there's a lot of people that I see and I go, I don't want to be like you. But I'm learning a lot from that person. That's. I don't know if that makes sense. No, to. Add to that. That's like when I talk to these kids who come in looking for employment. You know, and I talk to them like, I always ask them, what don't you want? Not what do you want? Because I feel like it's so much easier to identify and avoid things you don't want. So that's why that yeah. works. Yeah. Because it's really hard to know what you want and then to work towards it. It's so much easier to go, no, I, de I definitely don't want that. I don't want to be like that person. And then you'll do the mm. things. Yeah. Huh. Okay, this is actually really cool, this article. Mercedes has reportedly said it is stopping the development of petrol and diesel engines and it is going to start focusing on electric vehicles solely. Wow, that's a big move. Huge move. Well done, Mercedes-Benz. That is a big, big move. So... The German Auto Motor and, S und Sport. I like how you just drop these names. No. You've been dropping a lot of these these Says names. Yeah. That the Mercedes research and development boss Marcus Schaefer has basically shifted all his resources away from internal combustion engines um, towards emerging technology. Now the Mercedes-Benz first fully electric car will go on sale in Australia. This year, yeah, yeah, called the that's the EQC. Do you know what it is? Ah, we'll get one. And no, it's going to be <laughs> followed by a number of models, including an EQA hatchback, EQS sedan, uh, in the near future. We'll what is what is EQ? EQ cheap? I think it's just the name. <laughs> I don't know. What's EQ? Environmentally quantum. I reckon electric. Electric. He's electric. Electric. Now e D for diesel. Yeah. Oh. E, e for electric. Yeah. E for electric. What's now, Q? I don't know. QT. Quintessentially fantastic. Oh. oh. Now, Elon I Musk. I made that up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, we good. didn't know. <laughs> I believed Emma, did you every know? word. I actually <laughs> didn't get what confused by that one. Anyways. <laughs> um, Elon Musk has congratulated them and yeah. said, you know, well done. Fantastic Welcome to news. my world. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Um, now, Mercedes isn't the only one. Volkswagen head of strategy Michael Jost ha has said that he, in 2000, well, as of last year, they're basically going to be um, doing their last of their combustion engines. Um, Volvo have said that from 2019, they're going to be doing electric or hybrid model, um, marking the end of their combustion engines. And the Porsche, um, 
told Top Gear that they are considering switching to battery powered for its entry level 718 Boxster and 718 Cayman sports cars. Mm. So soon everything will be electric. Basically. Soon and I everything think you will know be what electric. the thing is, especially when you have situations like what's happening in Saudi Arabia now, where, you know, 50% of their oil reserves have been wiped out. Well, I mean, they're probably going to back a line, but you know what's happened. When you look at it like that and you go, actually, if that was to be wiped out permanently or more oil reserves were wiped out, we'd all be stuffed. I think that also cements the fact that besides the environmental factor, which should be the main concern, they're kind of going, we shouldn't have all our eggs in one basket. Let's diversify. Well, you're kind of going the opposite way because you're saying, let's take all our eggs out of this basket and put it in this basket instead. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I think that... We're just switching baskets. Oh, they're not diversifying, they're just changing. Though, isn't yeah, no. they went from this basket to this basket. My, my You're most, right. The thing I always think about with this is something that Maxi touched on very early in the B-side life, which was when we look at these things, when we look at the, the transport and, and how we perceive it's going to go, it's kind of like the tent, actually, in the... Is it like going to Like tent. the tent, tent. when Maxi was oh, saying... Yeah. We, we know what the, or we think we know what the problem is and we're going to try and solve it. With the cars, that we think that the electric car is going to be the solution to the combustion engine. But when we get to that point with the infrastructure change and everything like that, will the car actually be the thing that we use or will it be, will it be a completely new mode of transport or will it just, will it look different in the way that we utilize it and stuff? That's what I always think. I mean, about. I swear they should make the cars like the one I drew. That it was a stupid <laughs> drawing. You that watch, was a horrible drawing. Watch this space. <laughs> the trolley. The it's caravan. Trolley. Yeah, the caravan. <laughs> that was a horrible There's drawing. But honestly, why can't they just completely change the shape of cars and just make it completely different? Because the aerodynamic. Oh, is that a, that that well, did you see the, the AI design car? Looked nothing like our cars? No. No? no? So there was... This was a while back now. There was an AI machine that basically modeled up the, the structure, the skeleton of what the most efficient car would be. And it looks nothing like our cars. Oh. Is it, is, it, um, is it because of aerodynamics? Because buses aren't aerodynamic. Yeah, but... Then but buses have a different, like, main purpose, priority yeah. than most cars. Shifting but, as but many people as they can. But they've got a larger engine. And also, aerodynamics aren't the biggest issue for a car until they get to, like, 100... Yeah, I was going to say, why do we need like really aerodynamic cars? We have speed limits and stuff like that. Because I'm usually late to work and I'm usually hearing about (laughs) 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 money. Oh, yeah, it's got to be aerodynamic then. (laughs) Yeah, my car needs to be aerodynamic. I I needed to make sure it sticks to the floor. (laughs) Otherwise, but interestingly, like the the way the car's shaped today is so you can fit um, the engine in the front and then spare space in the back. Variations of what's at the back, but the front always looks the same, right? But now yeah. electric cars don't need a space for an engine. Oh, so more space. Ooh, you, you still need more still impact zones. At the moment, there's not. No, but I think yeah, they, they should make all cars. In a different yeah. way, I guess. No, but they should make all cars exactly like bumper cars and put that massive bit of rubber. <laughs> is, is that because you can't drive? <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> if they just put that huge bit of rubber I around every single car. Worse. Oh. Yeah, because every time I get angry, I will literally run someone off the road. <laughs> you would encourage, yeah, you but would encourage accidents. Says if, if you put like a big spike on the front of your steering wheel, which, which would kill you if you crashed, <gasps> that might be more safe than doing bumper cars because then you're less likely to hit anyone. Yeah. That's, like that's, a, that's, a, that's another level of stress I do not need in my life. Oh my yeah. God, the anxiety. Damn it. Damn this spike. There'd be no one on the roads. <laughs> Damn this spike. Uh oh, too close. <laughs> if you're too I, I'm, 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 well, I'm, I'm a little bit chubby, right? Ex- the spike might get me now. Out of our us us big bone people. <laughs> you have to put you put your seat right back so you can't reach the pedals. Oh I'm gosh. short and round. <laughs> it's a bit oh. unfair. You can put um kebab stick on there. I'll eat the kebab. (laughs) (laughs) And it would contribute to the problem. Uh, No, but can can you tell me, why is the bumper car solution not a solution? Because every time a lady cuts me off, I will literally make sure her car ends up in a ditch. There's the mentality. When when you're in bumper cars, what do you do? 
Yeah, but you're not telling people, right, you've got this rubber, go and bash people oh, with your car. Do you think they're not going to notice this big rubber on their car? <laughs> no. <laughs> what, 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 prob- what problem are you sol- solving with a bumper car? Because when you Is hit them. to stop getting small dents? No, like to stop lives being claimed. Like a you bumper hit car them. doesn't stop. If you're going at 60 kilometers per hour or miles per hour, a, a bumper car doesn't stop you getting hurt in that situation. Yeah. No, but you've Emma, got a you lap know, sash. You know when you're in lap real sash. cars, you've you got know, proper seats. You know the um, bumper cars. How far do you? How fast do you think they're going? Twenty. Twenty. No way. Twenty kilometers per you hour. You get ripple. Rip- <laughs> you can probably walk know. past a bumper car. <laughs> right. And when a bumper car actually hits another, like, hits you, bang. you actually, like, you, you sway to the left. And that's go- <laughs> if you're going 20, you'd have whip- whiplash. Yeah, yeah but car. hello, we, if you if you hit another hello? car when you're driving, you, it's still going to do that anyway. Yeah, but you get a crumple zone, so you, you stay safe. Do you know what my favourite part of this is the fact that you're digging your heels into the swimmer? Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. I am not an engineer. If, a car is engineered if you want to take the bumper car idea, I guess you'd have to have like to a safe, four meter right? wide spring in a- all around your car. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine the lanes. Hang on, Eight so you're lanes. saying that basically, <laughs> let me get this straight. If you hit in a bumper car, you just go bounce. <laughs> right. Yeah. But if you, you hit- bounce from sixty kilometers per hour to zero <laughs> in the same amount of time it takes for a bumper car to stop, your neck will your head will come off your shoulders. Oh, okay, you're right. It, it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, uh, you at least have a concussion. <laughs> That's the solution I've been <laughs> thinking least. of in my head for it's like years It's a bit like you saying, now. I'm going to jump off the Eiffel Tower, but I will just put a bumper on my bum and just land on my bum and bounce back up. Then it's not a problem. Oh, like that, like that, um, that animal from uh, Winnie the Pooh. Tigger. T- <laughs> Got a springy yeah. tail. Oh. I, th- honestly, guys, <laughs> this is actually something I've I've always thought about for years. You know, well, they should just put put bumpers around. What, we wow. should. Oh, Emma, I, I wish you became an engineer. Just just a thought. One minute a warning. Engineer. One minute warning. What? So I could put my hand up in class and say, "Why well, don't they?" Oh, so God. we're we're uh, applauding um, Mercedes. We and are. Uh, yeah. vo- uh, Volkswagen or is it and Volvo? Volvo? Volvo and I think they're all going to do Porsche it soon. To an extent. I, I think the EU said you can't sell non-electric cars by 2030 in the EU. Oh, I yeah. think that's a law. Yeah. So they're all going to have to shift there at some point. So I, right. I, I, uh, yeah. I guess my natural no. reaction is to applaud, but what what are we applauding? Get, like, the, what's the actual getting bit? away from like the big companies doing something like. Yeah, what, what are we applauding? What, what's no, the I'm actual... applauding the the positive impact on the environment. Well, it won't have a positive impact, but it will stop having a neg- as negative an impact on Where the environment. Where does electricity come from? So, do you know why I've just thought why Wind, I'm questioning the applause? Part? Solar, water, but oil. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm saying. Coal. We're going to be using more oil and more no. coal no, because we, we charge our cars. It's more efficient to no. put oil into a. Uh, generator and then charge a battery than it is to put it in the car okay because the things the fumes at the out of your exhaust and i hate driving behind those cars where they got like black stuff coming out of their exhaust yeah that, they need oil oh, my you, they need oil in their car no they need a new car so do you know what i was thinking about the, the, the applause part or why i was questioning is because yeah if i guess it's the intention behind what they do rather than what they do like if they were going oh. we're going to do this because of sustainability and global warming and all but they're they're not they're doing it as max has said because they have to and probably because they're gonna make more money because of it yeah yeah so do you really know their intention (laughs) no but their intention but you're applauding the end result basically i think i don't know i think if 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 companies do a good thing then you should sort of applaud it to encourage them to keep doing it in a marketing Mm. way even if it is a bad intention like do you know what I mean? Like we we try and encourage it, but I understand what you're saying. Like, yeah, well done. Makes... But you don't go to the CEO and I don't know. I know. Yeah, a hundred percent. I agree, Maxie. Make you. I see what you're saying, but you've got to applaud it because the end result will be better. Also, if That's Mercedes, like, it's like um, it's like if a kid does something good, thinking he's going to get a sweet, and then at the end you're like, you're not getting this sweet because you did it for the sweet. <laughs> you ain't getting this. <laughs> <laughs> but also, if Mercedes and companies like that are doing it, then the other ones will just fall into line. Do you know what I mean? They're all doing it already. Like they're yeah. all. They're, every single major car manufacturer has an electric car. Every single one. I just hope but that Mercedes they make has it. Mercedes just said they're moving on to 
I think we primarily doing it and nothing else. I think the but, biggest question mark for me is always going to be: is it will it will it be better? I think the biggest. I just hope that it's going to be affordable for your general uh, like, population. Like, yes. like we like we talk about what problems. Because <laughs> if if you have an all electric vehicle fleet on the road, there will a hundred percent be problems that we have not thought of yet. Yeah, there'll be problems. But will those problems be blackouts necessarily best blackouts from everyone? Um, from everyone. I charging. really, I really, truly like believe it is better to have electric on the road than. Although one thing, interesting thing, is um in the EU as well, it's also law now for electric cars going under 12 kilometers per hour, they have to have some artificial noise to oh. make wow. them heard. Wow, 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 wow. Interesting. That's I wonder interesting. what... Uh, that that comes back to the whole thing as, of, of creating your own ringtone. Can you create your own car tone? No, nah, probably vroom, vroom. Like, why can't... <laughs> but it'd be funny, like, in the future when vroom. all That's... cars are electric and then the next generations don't understand why they're making this rumbling noise. <laughs> As a, as a, the like, why would you choose that? Mercedes. No, that is you should be able to choose your own. CJ's vroom soundtrack. vroom is copyrighted. Please do not use that. <laughs> yeah, it's my I'm really copyrighted that one a while back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought that was Baba Boom. Oh, was <laughs> Baba Boom. <laughs> Baba Boom. Imagine if, imagine that. Just every electric car under twelve kilometers per hour, it has Terry on Reed's voice. <laughs> Baba Boom. Baba Only boom. when they're pulling <laughs> up to a red light where there's ladies <laughs> no, no, no. walking you, past. You can switch it up like you pick up a date, and you and you stop the car and he goes <laughs> Baba Boom. <laughs> uh, uh. And you're like, I missed that, man. <laughs> and and you get like a. You know, <laughs> I think we've talked about this. It's finished, right? Uh, this yeah. is just another. The um, the people that are into cars will not like this. No, no they won't. They won't no. like this. They they love the sound of an engine and like and, our neighbor, and how it moves the our car. Neighbor is like does his car all the time. Like he's building a car or something, and he whenever he tests it, it's like it's like so loud. This week on Max Facts. Max Facts. Max Facts. Max Facts. <laughs> okay. Max <laughs> Fact this week is, can you guess, and I hope I haven't told you this before, can you guess which animal is the best animal for long distance running? The ostrich. Definitely not the cheetah. Zebra. Turtle. Are we talking given running, enough time horse, they have, and they distance. Run? Horse. Given enough time the and camel. distance. Given enough time and distance, okay. this animal will outrun any other animal on the planet. Do, do they, do I feel they like run? it's one of those like I don't know. What are you asking <laughs> me? I feel like it's an <laughs> antelope. Antelope? An antelope or something they of that nature. To, they don't have to like beat the like the cheetah. Yeah, but they they or a goat, an antelope or a goat. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's two diff- really different. <laughs> what animals might great? A, a horse. Bird. I reckon a horse. Birds. It's birds horse. don't run. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fish. Ostriches do. Um. <laughs> All right, Maxi. It yes. is a human being. Oh. What? Have you seen me run? Really? <laughs> that's that's incorrect. Based on like <laughs> humans were the best runners on wow. the planet. If by just by how they're made, how efficiently they run, and how far they can go, humans can outrun any of animal given enough time and distance. A good human, obviously, like a an in shape human and an in shape animal, a, like relatively equivalent. <laughs> There's a lot of so I, <laughs> you mean to say I could outrun an out of shape animal? I think if you got yeah, <laughs> if you get a fat like <laughs> is this a thing? Hey, it's big boned, all right, not fat. I'm, uh, are there out of shape animals <laughs> when the animals haven't been like messed with by humans, like dogs and things like that? Like, are, are there out of shape animals? They get, in the wild? They get eaten. <laughs> so I'm prey. Oh, are, we, are, we, are we literally the only thing that has out of shape surviving animals? That's a really good question. No, surely not. Maybe um well apart from when you get old animals. Yeah. Yeah. Walruses. Taking out old ones out. Or maybe like um like a queen bee. She's probably like she's so fat of all the honey she gets. 
Beyonce. Yeah. <laughs> Like because the thing is, most most alpha of anything in an animal kingdom seem to get challenged, right? So if they get out of shape Bigger. by being alpha and controlling everything, then they're probably going to get challenged by a young, hungry male. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm thinking about like a couple I of types of animal when I come up with these assumptions. So ostrich. Well, antelope as well. There's a really funny video <laughs> I watched yesterday on Twitter where this ostrich like attacks a guy, and the guy like what? And like punches it back, and then the ostrich runs away like with its mouth open, its wings flailing. And all I could think when I looked at it was like, Aww. what path of evolution came up with the ostrich? Because that's one weird creature. <laughs> There's so many strange creatures out there. Can I just say something? I don't know if you guys have watched Our Planet, the new one. Stuff with David Attenborough. Did you watch the behind the scenes? No. Watch it. It will. You will cry your eyes out. What? Is that the walrus? Are you talking about the walrus? The walruses. It is so sad i don't even want to spoil it for you like it is it, it it was i said to dev this is the most saddest thing i have watched in like well the whole year hands well, down I, i'm not, I'm not gonna watch it it's a watch it. spoiler like that stuff. yeah i'm not gonna watch it either okay well because of the ice melting the walruses have nowhere to go so they're making they're forced to go and now go to land rocky land and for some unknown strange reason they are climbing up the side of these like sheer cliff faces and there's so many and because the land size compared to what they were used to and the ice is so tiny compared to the amount of walruses there are there's like hundreds of thousands squished onto these tiny l rocky land <coughs> island things they're climbing up these sheer cliff faces and they're like on top of each other and the, the ladies they're watching them they're like why are they climbing up there this is not na this is not natural they get to the top and they either fall off the side or they just aimlessly walk off just because they're trying to go back into the sea. They don't know they're up high and they just fall to their death, like hitting all the rocks on the way down. And you see it in slow, like they, they, they've got this all on film. They put it on our planet and then they're just like literally falling off these cliffs they're one after another, death. falling to their deaths one after another, but they don't die instantly. Some might do. They just lie there in absolute agony and get sunburn and die. It is like happening now, and it's so sad. So that that kind of thing and where it's you say like it's not natural. That always makes me think about the, I guess, the cognizant of an animal. Like that's not a problem solving solution that they went through and went, oh crap, there's no ice. Right, what are we gonna do now? Well, this seems like a good option. Let's do that. They just naturally go and do it, don't they? So I wonder why yeah. they've naturally decided to climb the, or not even decided to, but naturally gone to climb. Because there's literally no space on the land. There's there's li hundreds of thousands. So there's they ha they have they're like forced to go up and up and up, and then they don't know that they're up high and they just fall to their death. It's wow. so sad. Actually, you probably can YouTube it. It's probably on YouTube. Oh, would you guys go on um, TV shows to win money? Yes. Like nowadays? Yeah. I, I would too. But what, like what you kind say of yes, is that? but you know. Free money? No, Hell yeah. No, but listen, you guys will say yes, but have you ever actually like applied to go yes. on one? No. Oh. <gasps> yes. Which one? Loads. <laughs> have you really? Yeah. In the, the BBC, have you used the applaud store? What's that? Alex. No. Mm -hmm. It's, it's something the BBC, they're like a agency who work for the BBC and their job is just to get people on the game shows and stuff. But you can just sign up and you can just say the type of things you're interested in. And then you also get free tickets through them. So or any BBC show is free to watch live. So you can just go on there and get What's tickets this? Like in, in the UK. Applaud store. Right, that is so cool. Like, would you go on the chase? I feel like the people that go on the chase, nah, know, they the know chase. too many. they know too many things. That's the thing, like... Uh, what? I, I watched like, any knowledge driven... Too clever. Game. Boring. No. Next. <laughs> like, give me... A, I'll go on a knowledge driven game show in 20 years when I've got some life experience and I'm just acquiring <laughs> random knowledge. Um, My grandparents would be good because they used to do trivia nights all the time. All right. But now, now Here's one. put me in a physical challenge one. I'm up for that. Have you guys seen the one on Netflix called Awake? No. Yes. Isn't it so funny? <laughs> That's like, I'm like, what? that's the weirdest watch. <laughs> right, but you're still hooked and you watch to see what happens. I think, yeah, I was like, 
it's one of those things where you look at them and you're like, oh, you're so stupid. Like, <laughs> what, what is it? They make so the these... first thing is yeah. they have 24 hours and they get given a load of quarters and they have to count as many quarters as possible as they can for 24 hours. They're not allowed to go to sleep and it's just in this brightly lit room. And then at the end of the 24 hours, this isn't the show, by the way, that happens first. Yeah. You have to watch that. <laughs> this, this isn't and at the end of the 24 hours, there's like six of them and then they have to do like a lot of... Um, a lot of challenges, like one of them was put um, a thread through a needle as many times as possible. There was one about like popping balloons or something. I don't know. There's just like lots of Loads very of, basic yeah. challenges, but when you're very tired after 24 hours, it's hard to do. It's yeah. Sad. Um, See, I but along do, the um... way, no, but Go you on. missed the main part of it. You have to oh. count them and try and remember how many coins you counted. And then you have to say, I think I counted this many coins. And then they count how many coins you you actually count it. So then you make your way through these challenges and at the end and you get different cho- cho- like points that you can just like tap out and take some money. But then at the end, it says how many coins do you think you counted? Do you think it's within like... 50, 500. 500, like 50,000 or 20,000 within this range or whatever, 200 or whatever. And then you can basically walk away with a million dollars if you got like close to what you actually counted what you think you counted versus what you actually counted. Within like, the, the top one was in like... Uh, 50, is it? it? like $5 50 or something? 50 bucks, crazy, or 50, to get the million. 50 bucks. Yeah. And bearing in mind, they've counted in quarters up to about, like the highest ones were like $25,000 yeah. yeah. in quarters. Yeah. And they got to try and get a $50 accuracy. Yeah. That's it's crazy. Intense. But but you can get the one before the million and take everyone's um everyone's actual earnings if you get within 250 or within... Uh, yeah. Can you... Yeah. When, when you're counting, it's like, how, what's the layout? You can use situation? your own methods, your own. You can't use pen and paper. You no just pen have, and paper. Just your hands. But you're in like a just a load of recorders and a bucket. Them, yeah, you can stack yeah, yeah, them. Yeah. You just get given a desk. You just stack them, and however you want to try and remember it. Oh, I'd, I'd nail that. I think. I think. <laughs> <laughs> like, I thought I would as well, but uh, so, <laughs> I guess 24 hours of no sleep is what it gets you. But I think you yeah. know what it is. You know, what I think it'd be. I just uh, count. I think 10. it's all about your system. And I just no, don't think I think if you only count ten dollars, you're only going to win ten dollars. Yeah, no, the lowest. No, 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 no the lowest the goes. The first round is whoever counts the least gets kicked out. Yeah, yeah the first two. Oh. No, the no, two the, lowest. No, no, the least and least accurate. Oh yeah, the least out. counted and the least accurate counted. Yeah. They go without even. Competing. There was one guy that goes, I, I think I have uh, ninety two thousand, and he's like. <laughs> Bro, you were like seventy thousand off. Yeah, you were clearly <laughs> he not was 70, counting. Seventy thousand off. <laughs> it's like uh, one thousand, two thousand, <laughs> ninety thousand, <000. laughs> ninety thousand. <000. laughs> All right, everyone. Thanks for watching this week's episode of the B Side Word. Make sure if you enjoyed it to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe and drop us your thoughts in the comments down below. Hit the bell, hit the bell. Hit the bell, hit the bell. bell.